This video, I am going to give you a whole bunch of reasons why I think it's time to grow your beard pretty long, at least longer than you normally would. For those who don't know me, my name is Jeff Von Cristiano. I'm a designer, YouTuber, creator, extraordinaire. For everybody else, hi, it's been a while. Good to see everybody. I know you've been asking, here I am. <laughs> So the first reason I think that it's important to start growing your beard is because long hair is in. Long hair is something I'm seeing men in style and fashion doing, and it's just kind of about to get there if it's not about there. And it's this long, structured, kind of wavy-ish, messy hair thing because quarantine, people are wearing sweatpants, whatever. Everybody's a little more casual and that's become commonplace. Lack of getting haircuts, there's this casualness, but people are still keeping it tight. Long hair is in on the head. So therefore, it makes sense that there's a style that's evolving and I, I kind of want to put a name to it as like a flow type of style. This flowing beard that's longer makes sense. It feels like it's right pairing with it. Not saying that you should do both of them, but I'm just saying there's this style in men's fashion that I think is about to smash through the walls. Yeah. And it's this casual flow that's really tight and intentional. So imagine you haven't seen a girl for months and then all of a sudden you see her and she takes off her clothes and it's like, bam, everything's super powerful. It's just so much more attractive and interesting, if to say the least, to all of a sudden see something that's really amazing, something different, something unordinary to your daily life. With the wearing of the masks, I feel like it's kind of like a woman getting undressed in front of you. It's this reveal party when there's this party underneath that mask. And <laughs> I think that that's kind of the key here is like, think about it as you're about to have this reveal effect all the time anytime you get to take off the mask. I mean, obviously if you're growing it long, you're gonna see a little bit, but there's, it's like, ooh, what's going on under there? It's, there's this mystery. I think it's super interesting to just think about it like that. Like, ooh, like it's like those Christmas calendars that you, you open, you're like, oh, I can't wait. So yeah, yeah, that's, I guess that's what I'm thinking. See, the thing is, in today's environment, it's pretty acceptable to be casual. It, and in a lot of ways, it's kind of expected. We're all working from home. We kind of started doing whatever we wanted. We broke the mold. And something like this just pushes that wall away. I do think that it's important for us to break the mold that we've been living in, in our appearance, in our style, in our living, all of that. Create it intentionally. Breaking the mold of how you look, not just aimlessly doing it, is very helpful to advancement of your personal self, growth, all that business. If you're looking for a data-driven video, this isn't it. This is an opinion video, my opinion, in particular, this point. This point has to do with masculinity. I know there's a lot of controversy around that word. I think it's an awesome word, in particular. Uh, I think there's weird gender conversations I don't really care about. For me, I want to be traditionally masculine because what I grew up with, that thing is still awesome to me. I like the idea of a ripped, huge He-Man looking mofo with a weird haircut or a strong troll looking burly wrestler guy with a giant beard or something. Stuff that I would draw when I was a kid. I like this idea of like a traditional man. Ah, like, oh, it's awesome. And I want to look more like that if I can because it makes me feel strong, makes me feel good, it makes me happier to feel like I'm pushing towards what I grew up idolizing, striving for. And one of those things for this particular video there's a lot of hair, a lot of face hair, something that women can't grow. Emphasize that because I think everything's getting so wishy-washy and I, I want to define my line. That's me. That's what I want to do. So if you agree with that, then you agree to this particular point. So if you didn't like that point, you may not like this one either because it's about authority and there's something weird about growing a beard that all of a sudden people start asking you more questions. They look to you, they ask you for leadership. And I think it's important if you're a kind person to show kind and good leadership and help people. When you grow a beard and there's all these soft boys all over the place and you come in your own the room, for some reason people tend to establish the person with the beard as an authority figure, as a male figure, as a leader. And I don't know why for sure. I've just noticed that this is the case with many people I've talked to with long beards throughout the years and my own personal experiences. 
it just establishes you as somebody who somehow knows whether it's directions or like life problems. It's strange the kind of stuff that people will just come up to me and ask and they have no idea who I am. That leadership vibe, I think, gives us a good opportunity to do some more good in the world. So you may not have noticed it in the other shots, but in the past couple months, I've gained some weight, about 15 pounds. Not fat, I'm just kind of fluffy. Not too long ago, I, I was getting a pretty round face. I was like, oh, let me tighten it up and give myself structure. So I trimmed up my beard and it just really emphasized this round face that I had. <laughs> it was like, oh, well, that was a mistake. So uh, as I'm trying to get back in shape and everything, I just started letting it go. Just stopped caring about it. And I remembered when you let the beard grow long, it gives some structure to your face. It gives it more of an oval like appearance and makes you look thinner and things are more balanced. So when you're a little bit fluffy and rounded corners, it's just, it helps lengthen your whole appearance. It goes into your neck and makes your shoulders look stronger because it has some definition because it's just kind of going there. It just overall makes you look a little bit better, even if you're a little fluffy. And for me, I like that sense of control when I feel out of control of my body, at least for now. It's a good thing, especially when you're getting a little fluffy. It's, it really does help. Another simple reason is it's cold out and there's something about beards that just keep you warm. It is winter time right now. It's about 36, 40 degrees. I'm here laying out in the sun, just kind of warming up. And one thing to note is that my face feels exactly the same as it did an hour ago when I was inside. An hour later, being outside in the near freezing cold, honestly, there is no heat loss. It just, it feels exactly the same amount of comfort as it did. And it's important to note that it's winter. It's really cold out. And if you live in a cold climate, the beard keeps you warmer. When it gets really long by the summertime, this beard is gonna really keep you cool. It's kind of a win-win. Honestly, growing a beard is pretty awesome. So let's take a couple scenarios and give them some predictions. Let's say summertime, masks are gone. Nobody's afraid anymore, everything's good. No more masks. Great, you have this awesome beard and it looks great and you can brush it and it doesn't get messed up. Everything's fantastic. There's a lot of character. You can see the people walking around. They see you and you will stand out you will have a look that is quite different than many of the people. Scenario two, masks are still here. Everybody's still wearing them. There's not much personality. There's no character in a person while they walk by. But then you see the beard and it peeks through. It may kind of look a little funky, but there's some kind of personality. There is something that you see that this is a person. It's not just a mask and a couple eyes. It's a lot less anonymous. And there's something about that that I'm really looking forward to. I like to see people. I like to see character. And I think it's important to try to push that. I think it's really important. Let's say I'm completely wrong with this flowy, casual fashion style that I think is going to happen. Then great. Then you have all this material you can trim back and clean up very, very easily. You can do it instantly. It's great. You have nothing to worry about. Now, let's say I was right. Well, you're way ahead of the curve. You have been working at this by the time everybody's starting to get inspired, you're way ahead of the game and you can actually help people out and teach them stuff like what you've learned, uh, where you've messed up if you trimmed it, which you shouldn't do that. Don't trim it if you're growing it. I don't know how many times I have to say this in my life. Don't do that. <sighs> but I digress. The whole point is that you'd be ahead of a game and you wouldn't have the stress. And yes, there is a stress to wanting something and striving something that you can't get right away. There's this delayed gratification that can be a struggle sometime and just take some energy. But you don't have that problem because you've started right now. Yeah, it's a win-win. One more, this one's really important because it's, let's say you can't grow a beard that's very long. You're trying or you haven't really tried it because it looks so bad. Well, this is a perfect opportunity to do this. You can go months without anybody seeing your whole face because you just wear a mask everywhere. It's, it's great. So you're kind of in this perfect little bubble where nobody can see you or, you know, make you feel bad if you're concerned with that. It's nice. It's just behind closed doors and you can do whatever you want. And after a couple months of growing and nobody's seen it except for the people closest to you, then, you know, you can do decide later. But like you have this freedom right now and this cover, this and these masks act as this acceptable cover to particularly the lower half of your face. So might as well take advantage of this scenario 
and really just see what happens to your face. I really can't imagine any better time to see what happens if you just don't shave and don't trim or anything for two, three months. And if you haven't before, I strongly recommend you do, just to know. You should know that, oh, my left side of my face grows really fast until two months in, then this one catches up. That's how it is for me. So it's like, doesn't, you know, you just don't know this stuff. Try this out. All you have to do is just stop trimming, stop cutting, try it out. You have nothing to lose. And I really, really feel strongly about this soft, flowy men's fashion that's coming up. It makes sense with the youth and the times. Everything just, it's starting to click. I can see it around that bend. It's gonna smash through that wall, summertime, fall time, whatever. It's gonna be huge, I believe. And I think that this is really gonna be a big part of it as an option. It's not going to fit everything, might not fit everyone, but you gotta try it. I mean, why not push yourself just a little bit more? And uh, if you wanna see some more videos from me, I have my own channel. Just look up Jeffrey Bon Cristiano or The Bond Life. And I hope to see you guys soon. Till next time, cheers. Whoever knew sweat could smell so good? I did, because I've been using Beard Brand's new deodorant. Grab it at beardbrand.com.